Birth Church, or Christ Church, is located at 193 Salem Street in Boston. It's Boston's oldest active church building and historical site. It is one of the famous sites on the Freedom Trail. The Old North Church Historic Site Tour is open January through February from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., March to May from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., June to October 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and November through December from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. For a general entrance, there is a suggested donation, and with the donation you will receive an official one if by land, two if by sea, lantern sticker to wear, which grants you access to the church, Captain Jackson's historic chocolate shop, the printing office of Eads and Gill, the restrooms, and the gardens. Welcome to the Old North Church, one of the most historic places in America, one of the places where the American Revolution began. One if by land, two if by sea. Ever heard of that before? Well, Robert Newman was the man who made that happen. Paul Revere had made a prior arrangement with Robert Newman to hang lanterns in the tower of the Old North Church. This is the bell ringing chamber. Paul Revere was a bell ringer here as a young boy, and that's how he became acquainted with the excellent view of the countryside. Here we are on the steeple of the Old North Church with a panoramic view of Boston all around. If you look off in that direction, you can see the masts of the USS Constitution. That's Charlestown. That's where they were looking for the lanterns in 1775. Hey, I'm in front of what is officially known as Christ Church in the city of Boston, but is more popularly known as Old North Church. Founded in 1722, Old North Church is most famous for being the site of Paul Revere's two lantern signal on the eve of the American Revolution. In 1775, Old North Church's steeple was the highest point in Boston, making it the ideal location to send a signal across the harbor to Charlestown. Contrary to what some people think, this was not a signal for Revere, but rather from Revere. Paul had gotten word that the British were going to be traveling by sea, so he told Robert Newman and John Pulling to hang two lanterns in the steeple. The lights were only up for a few seconds, but just long enough for the people in Charlestown to get the signal and get a horse ready for Paul Revere. 